Bleed Seville, who is currently the fastest Jamaican sprinter last year over the 100 meters, ran impressive personal record in the 200 meters. Hi, this is Dr. Gregory Horton, three-time Olympic medalist and world champion in track and field. Thank you all for coming over to this channel. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. If you have an opinion and you would like to share it, please feel free to share it in the comment section. Today we're going to talk about Oblique Seville, who is currently the fastest 100 meter sprinter for Jamaica last year, who ran a massive personal record in the 200 meters at the Velocity Fest over the weekend. And he was looking quite impressive. Now, for some of you who do not know who Oblique Seville is, Oblique Seville finished fourth at the recent World Championship in Budapest last year. In fact, he was one of the favorite to finish in the top three. Unfortunately, he fell a little bit short at the tape. Oblique is currently coached by coach Glenn Mills, and he is touted as being one of the replacement for legendary sprinter Usain Bolt. He competes for Racers Track Club, and he's doing exceptionally well. Last year, he failed to win a medal for Jamaica in 100 meters, and he's getting ready for the Olympics in Paris come 2024. Now, I have two questions that I would love to hear your opinion. So please feel free to leave your comment in the comment section. How do you feel right now about Oblique Seville development at Racers Track Club? And the second question is, do you think he has a good chance of finishing in the top three at the Olympic Games in Paris, France? Now, one of the things I love about where Oblique Seville is right now is that he is getting more confident. And as he matures, you can see the development in the way how he is executing his races. Week before last, he ran the 400 meters. He ran a massive personal best as well. And you can see that he's getting ready for one of the biggest challenge of his life, which is the 100 meters final at the Paris Olympic Games. Now, I must admit that I am pretty impressed with the way Coach Mills and his team have developed Oblique Seville. If you notice how sparingly he competes since the beginning of the season, and you can tell that the Coach Mills camp is preparing him for the biggest occasion of his life. I must say, when you look at this 200 meters, one of the first that I've seen him in a while, you could see how controlled he was. You could see how fast he was. You could see how focused he was. You could also see how strong he was because he was able to make the separation from the opponents in the field. Now it is also said, and I cannot confirm this, but I saw it, that legendary Usain Bolt is also a part of Oblique Civil's preparation team. And I can tell you this, that if Usain Bolt is a part of his team, I expect the greatest outcome from him in Paris. It is said that no one can help one to get over the barriers. But when you have someone like a Usain Bolt with that liquid experience of three Olympic gold medals in both the 100 and the 200 meters, you can tell that Oblique Seville is really going to get the mental preparation and the confidence from Usain Bolt just knowing that he is in his corner and he's also helping to make sure that he's fully ready for Paris 2024. I know if it was me, I would love to have someone like that as a member of my team because nothing is more important than having that lived experience to guide someone like an Oblique Seville who is still young and has so much future in store. So let me read your comments and your opinions in the comment section. Stan one, how do you feel about Oblique Seville development with coach Glenn Mills? And two, do you think he has a good chance of finishing in the top three at the Paris Olympic come 2024? I thank you very much for listening. I am Dr. Gregory Horton. Have a blessed day.